Hello guys, this is Adafid. As usual, we are going to provide some lessons for you. Today, we are not focusing on politics, we are going to focus on health. We are going to illustrate how sports can boost mental health. Actually, let us start by see how sports boost your overall health and offer other benefits. You might enjoy playing sports because you can spend time with your friends. Or maybe you like sports because they keep you fit. Sports benefit your mental health too. I guess starting from this moment, you get that hint. Playing them makes you happier or less stressed. Sports first calm your mind. Okay? Strengthen your muscles. And also, it can improve your overall well being. It's easy to start playing sport and receiving this benefit in your life. How sport help your mental health anyway? We all know that sports are great for your physical health, but sports also have many psychological benefits. First, it can help moderate stress. About 75% to 90% of doctor visits are for stress related illness sports help you manage stress exercise causes your body to release endorphins the chemical in your brain that relieve pain and stress it also reduces the level of stress hormones cortisol and adrenaline studies have shown that 20 to 30 minutes of exercise each day can make people feel calm. This calmness continues several hours after exercise. Also, sport can improve your mood. Playing a sport such as golf or skying forces, you put aside your worries and concentrate on a task at hand. This helps you clear mind and calm down. It also helps you sleep better. Sport can help you to produce long-term mental health effects. Participation in sport can have long-term effects on your mental health. Researchers studied 9,688 children who had bad childhood experience such as physical and sexual abuse or emotional neglect. They found that those children who took part in team sport had better mental well-being when they were adults. Boost mental health with team sports. Taking part in a sport in a group has a greater impact on mental health than an individual sport. Researchers in, in Australia found that women who played tennis and netball in clubs had better mental health than those who exercise alone, like working or working out at the gym. There were no differences in the physical health between the two groups. A study of teenage athletes found that those who played individual sports more likely reported experiencing anxiety and depression. This may be because those in team sport often play for fun. Individual Sport don't require another person to compete together and may make the athlete experience more stress than enjoyment. Also, sport can help fight addiction. Every kind of addiction that you may face, sport is the only solution. A study of Norwegian teenagers found that those who played in team sports were less likely to smoke cigarettes and use cannabis as others. Researchers in Korea recommend the use of sport to help teens combat internet addiction.
let us get look the other importance of sport. Sport can help with depression. Sport help treat depression. Studies show that exercise improves symptoms of depression and reduces the risk of relapse. Exercise was found to be as effective as standard antidepressant treatment in one study. With modest amounts of exercise helping to improve depression. Also, sport can improve serious mental disorders. Exercise can help if you have a serious mental illness such as schizophrenia. It improves some symptoms of schizophrenia including loss of motivation and thinking difficulties but is less effective with other symptoms like hallucinations. Is there any negative effect of a sport for mental health? Let's take a look. What sport provide many benefits, they can also have negative effects on mental health of more advanced adults, especially irrity adults uh, that play at varsity, regional, national, and professional level. The first one is stress. While sport relieves stress, sometimes they create it. Parents or coaches may push children too hard. Older athletes may place pressure on themselves to perform well. This leads to burnout, which is when an athlete performs worse than despite intense training. Secondly, is the depression. Many high-profile athletes struggle with mental health issues. Researchers say certain factors may increase the risk of depression among athletes. This includes injury, retirement from the sports, and performance expectations. It's also possible that there may be underreporting of depression among athletes. Thirdly, is eating disorders. Eating disorders such as anorexia, nervosa, and bulimia nervosa are a problem in sport. This is especially so in sports where weight affects performance, such as long distance running, gymnastics, and sky jumping. AA literates may feel pleasured to have the ideal body, tap for the sport, or may fear going over the weight class in a sport. A study of Norwegian athletes found that 13.5% of elite athletes had eating disorders compared to 4.6% of those in general population. Thank you very much for joining us today. This is Adfit.